Welcome, this is Gaming Bear, and this is a very nice quick tip. Now, have you ever had a problem where you had a handheld camera and you're getting this very shaky footage and you've tried every solution to stabilize this but you just don't get a good result? Well, now you can use the Warp Stabilizer tool in Future in After Effects CS 5.5 that gives a very good result in, and it's very easy to use. Basically, it's just a drop effect. As once you drop it in, uh, it will do all the work for you, you have a very good result at once. There are certain tweaks, tweaks ability that you can do. For example, if you have a DSLR camera, it can get uh, a little cranky and mad. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to, um, how to find it and how you can manage to handle it. So, here we have uh, footage. Okay, we'll just turn off the others they're kind of annoying. Um, so, uh, here we have our, our footage and we want to stabilize it because it's handheld. So you can find it two places. If you go under animation you can go to stabilize motion or you can go to effects and go to distort and here is this the warp stabilizer. So at once as you click it, it will it, this banner will pop up saying analyzing in background. Now this means that you can do everything else, you can work on other layers or whatever while this is working. But let's go back because um, now it is rendering or it is calculating or, tr or tracking all the frames in this certain footage and uh, making like a cloud of tracking points that will it will generate this camera from. So we can see the progress here is 11% and 36% and you can see the minutes and everything but I actually have this already inserted in another footage so I will just delete this, or not delete it, but just yeah, it's in the background, so whatever um, yeah, so we have this footage right here I just put it a little up because we have like banners and everything yeah, okay um, so here we have some uh, just put this to the original position. Oops. Ah, never mind, it doesn't, doesn't matter really. Let's go. A little slow computer, I guess. Yeah, okay, so uh, sorry we're back. Uh, I just had a little trouble with my computer. But it's fixed now, so um, here we are in the settings. We have a lot of options here. Um, as you see, we have now inserted the effect and we are okay, everything is stabilized. Um, the first one is result. We can uh, choose between no motion and smooth motion. Well, and no motion is basically if you have one to have, like it, it looks like it's on a tripod. And so here you can choose that. And I will choose chosen smooth motion because I am panning, um, panning sideways. Okay, so we can also is but with smoothness how smooth the video will be shown and then we have some things here I haven't really explored the, these ones I don't think they are so important but you can always check those out if you want you know just try it out for fun I don't know now uh, we have framing and here we can like look in depth kind of if you go to stabilize only um, you can quickly see how it will be we have it when it hasn't really cropped or anything, so you can see these banners on the side and everything. Um, if we just deselect them, those, you can see how this, how it originally was. Just take this to position. Right, so now it's uncropped and unpositioned. So you know, that's this is how it really looks. Um, then we can go to stabilize crop. Now it has cropped the footage, um, and you can see that it's now stabilized between those edges. Then we go to auto scale also, and uh, now we got our final footage rendered out. 
yeah, uh, and then we got additional scale, if you want to scale, scale this even more. Then we go to advanced section, here we can choose, be choose between detail analysis that, was, that will basically just track it more and try to find other other points that it can track, so you can always do that if you have, have a really low contrast uh, video or something like that with low details. Now, uh, the rolling shutter ripple is for DSLR users, as such as me. If you have problems with this um, rolling shutter effect on your footage, you, you should try with enchanted reduction. This will do a good job removing those shutter effects. So we also have crop less and smooth more. Now, in this particular, sh th this is default on 50%, and on this I have a little more smoothness because I didn't really need the, all the space around, so I just crop more. Basically, when you take this uh, to the right, it will crop more, and we take it to the left, it will. S or now we, uh, yeah, no, wait a minute, yeah. Okay, uh, when you take it to the right, it will crop more, but it will smooth more also. And it will do the exact opposite when you get to go to the left. No, yeah, the left. Okay. So, and the last one is just if you want to hide the banner when you are working with your footage. Um, yeah, that really is. It's really easy to use, and I recommend using it regularly in, uh, if you're making such movies or something. So, I hope this helps a lot. It really did for me exploring this this uh, effect, so... Yeah, I hope you liked it. If you did, please like the video. And subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much. This was Gaming Bear. See you later.